A feature on the 2600 and 2630 displays is a quick start, which can be found from the main menu, GS2, and then GS2 in the upper right hand corner again. The purpose of the quick start is to navigate through all the settings that need to be included in to perform a specific task. So just say for example we're planning on performing a tillage operation and we want to document that. So we can enter in, put check marks in the boxes that we of the settings we want to change, and then hit accept. As you'll notice, it says resources up on the upper right hand corner as well, so these settings would be normally found in the resources tab. We're going to fill in all the information that has a red asterisk on it, starting with the client, farm, field, and task. And then we can hit the arrow pointing to the right, with signified by the letter F. The next menu it brings us to is the machine settings tab, which is we need to enter in the machine type, name, and connection type, as well as change the offsets and the recording source on it. For this example, we're using an 8430 series tractor, and we also measured the offsets according to the diagrams that are provided under this change offsets menu. Page 3 is going to give us the implement setups and we're going to fill in the same information similar to that of the tractor. We're going to want to change the offsets on the piece of equipment as well as change the widths so that way it knows how wide the implement is as well as what the track spacing will be for auto guidance. Since we are not hooked to any implement with its own wiring, we're going to have to select our own operation. In this case, we'll push the button tillage. Under the tillage operation, it is asking for the type and the depth of tillage that it can use as a fixed value for a recording. Page 5 now deals with the tracking mode, where we want to select the tracking mode, whether it be straight track, adaptive curves, etc., that we want to actually auto track with. Page 6 starts to deal with the auto guidance settings. Our recommendation is to select small shifts and then enter in, a, in an inch amount that you want it to shift over. When you hit shift right or shift left under the guidance, that is going to be how far it will move the line over every time you do. Page 7 is going to be similar to the guidance page, and we are going to set up a new AV line, name it, and set it. Once that is done, we can then hit accept or the green arrow, and the setup is complete.